hello friend welcome back in our previous video i have discussed about that things with you how can set data to the states in one line right so how can make the things easily so that is actually now perfectly working so now in this video i want to discuss about some of the validations like here they have the two input fields so here i want to add some of the validation for a specific this form so for doing this first of all i want to do I want to actually update it uh, like here that is the our h1 tag so right now i want to do i want to show some of the um, as a locking panel okay i just show some of the as a locking panel and here we don't need this so i just simply remove it so that is our dev and then that is our form right so that is our form here we have to work uh, like that is actually our um, level so i just put that level as an email I just put that to a level as email and also I take another one. I take another one for our this password field. So I just simply paste it on here. Okay. So I just simply paste it. It so that will be for our email and that will be for our password. Okay, that will be for our password. So now if you click as a save all and now if you refresh it again yeah now you can see you can see there are the two one as a email another is a password and then our submit form so here i want to do i want to add some of the validation so when this field will be empty then it will be show some of the message when our email field will be empty then it will be show another message when our password field will be empty then it will be show another message okay so here it will be display different type of message so for doing this first of all here i want to do here in particular that position so here I take one of the strong okay that means the strong and then I just simply finish it so into the strong area I want to do I want to show some of the message it should be display as a email and password invalid so this type of one of the messages it should be display and also here if you want to put some of the style that you can also add it that is style like I just put as a style style and here i want to do and to show some of the um, color as a red okay i just put as a color and color i want to do and to put the things as a it should be as a red so that will be as a red color and then that is actually our text so now if you click as a save all and now if you refresh it yeah now you see it's now showing as the email and password i am invalid so better i want to do and to put some of the bracket that means after this okay after this i want to do and to put some of the bracket and also i want to take the same things for our password so here i just simply paste it now if you click as a save all and now if you refresh it yeah now you see there's an email and there's a validation message the password and then our password validation message will be visible and then our submit perfect so now I want to do, I want to add some of the validation for our two of this input field. So first of all, I want to do here in our states, into the states, uh, into the states method area, I want to add some of the property. Like here, I take two of this property. That means it should be show all that our error message that the email error. I just name it as the error. Email error and also i want to do i want to make the things as the empty right now and also there is another field as a password so i just name it as a password error okay and that will be as a password error so i also make the things as a empty so here i added two of this property and also in our form area i have already added our on submit and with the on submit i have already loaded one of the method right that means our form submit method so that is actually our form submit method that is event so also i added as event as it will be as a prevent default and also before i show that message in our console area so right now here i don't want to show that as a in our console so here i want to do i want to put some of the validation okay so better i want to do i want to take another method so here i take it with the validate okay validate whatever you want so right now i just name it as a validate and here i created this method and into the method area i have to actually add all that our function that means all that our validation like here i want to put some of the if condition and then also after that after that it should be as a another one it should be another one as a else if okay else and then if 
and with the else if area it will be display another condition and also after that it will be added another else so whatever the validation actually you want so right now i want to do i want to add some of the validations like when our two of this field will be as the empty then it will be show some of the message that means the error message and when our only one field that means the email field will be as the empty then it will be show another message and when it's our password field will be empty then it will be show our another message okay and rather than when you click as a submit then our this uh, validation will be activated so for the reasons here else into the else area i want to do and to pass our this form that means else when it will be as a true okay better i just put as a return that means when our return will be as a true so when our return will be as a true then it will be redirected to our this on submit that means in our on submit area in this method area i want to display some of the message okay so you can do that work very easily i just put one of the if condition and into the if condition area okay if in the if condition area i want to access our this method as a validate so if you want to access it you have to access it with this right with this and then our validate and into the validate method area i want to do i want to actually pass some of the message that means here i want to uh, show some of the alert okay i just simply added one of the alert and into the alert area it will be show some of the message as a form submit done so this type of one of the message it will be display when our everything will be fill up okay that means when our validation will be perfect then it should be returned and returned as a true that means it should be returned to our this form that means our form submit area and here i loaded our this method that means the validate method and then after that when it should be everything true then it should be show our this alert message right so now we have to do we have to actually visible it that means we have to visible our error okay that means there is a two field error we have to visible it so here i have already added in our stored area two of this property as the email error and the password error so with this property i want to do i want to visible all that our error so how can show that error better i want to continue this process in our next video i will show you that things with a live example so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video